In order to find the horizontal and vertical tangent lines for this implicitly defined equation, the first thing we have to do is find dy dx. So we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. 2xy can be found using the product rule. 2x times the derivative of y with respect to x plus 2, which is the derivative of 2x, times y plus the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx equals 2x. Then we'll gather all of the non dy dx terms to the right hand side. 2x minus 2y. And factor the dy dx out of everything that's left on the other side. Then we'll divide by the 2x plus 2y giving us dy dx equals 2x minus 2y over 2x plus 2y, or x minus y over x plus y, if we simplify. So, in order to find the horizontal tangent lines, we have to make the numerator equal to 0, because that would be when the entire derivative is equal to 0. So, that occurs when x minus y equals 0 or when x equals y. For vertical tangent lines, we need to make the denominator equal to 0, because that will be when the derivative is undefined. So we have x plus y equals 0, or x equals negative y. First, we'll look at the horizontal tangent lines. So when x equals y, well, we have to figure out when that is true in our original equation. So we'll go back up and we'll replace all of the y's with x's. So that will give us 2x times x, so 2x squared, plus x squared equals x squared minus 2. Or 2x squared equals negative 2, or x squared equals negative 1. This has no real solutions, therefore there must not be any horizontal tangent lines for this function for this equation. For vertical tangent lines, we'll go in and replace all of the x's with negative y. So 2 times negative y times y is negative 2y squared plus y squared equals, and if x is negative y, this becomes a positive y squared minus 2 which gives us, if we bring this y squared over, negative 2y squared equals negative 2, or y squared equals 1, y equals plus or minus 1. We'll have to go and take both positive 1 and negative 1 and plug them back in to our original equation to see what values we get for x, because we're looking for the vertical tangent lines, which have an equation of x equals something. So if we plug in 1 for y, we end up with 2x plus 1 equals x squared minus 2, or x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. If we plug in negative 1 for y, we get negative 2x plus 1 equals x squared minus 2, or x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. When we factor each of these out, we get x minus 3 and x plus 1 on the left part, and x plus 3, x minus 1 on this side giving us values of x equals 3, x equals negative 1, x equals negative 3, and x equals 1. Then we need to go back and check in our derivative, does the point 3, 1, and the point negative 1, 1, both give us undefined in our denominator? Well, 3, 1 clearly does not, because that would be 3 plus 1 or 4 in the denominator. So we can ignore x equals 3, but negative 1, 1 does. So x equals negative 1 is one of our vertical tangent lines. If we plug in the negative 3 
with the negative 1 for y. That does not work out, but the 1 negative 1 does, and so we have another vertical tangent line at x equals 1.